Namaste and welcome to another great day at the Mike and Connor Homestead. Uh, continuing with the in-ground garden vegetable series. Um, I'm kind of going away from the in-ground gardening series, but I'm doing this one on lettuce. And um, the reason I say I'm going away from the in-ground is because this lettuce was grown aquaponically. Um, I don't know if you remember this lettuce, but this was the lettuce that Connor and I planted in the aquaponic series, um, episode three. It's been about a month. As you can see, it's grown really big. It's really tasty. I had a quality assure it. So we already ate a piece. But lettuce is one of my favorites as well. Lettuce and spinach, I like them both. Um, and I'll probably just do this on both lettuce and spinach. I also like kale. I've never grown kale, but I really am interested in it. And I'm going to do kale in the fall in the greenhouse, in the aquaponics. I'm just going to fill the whole thing with kale. I know how nutrient rich it really is, and the taste is good. Um, I didn't really like kale initially because my sister was kind of on one of her vegan garden kind of benders, and she made kale chips that were probably one of the most awful things I've ever eaten in my life. But I really like kale. I've given it a second chance since then and found that it is a really good tasting green. So I'll um, probably do an episode on that in the future. But with, with this, I just cut it at the bottom. It should grow back in the aquaponics and grow just as big as it did this time. So it's kind of one of those gifts that keeps on giving. Um, I'll process it and cut it and throw it in a uh, plastic bin. I use my plastic bins from old strawberry plastic containers like this one because they've got air in them. I like these because the air lets the air in. Well, the air little holes right here let the let the air get in. So I'm a fan. I, I think that they keep maintain the vegetables really well. Um, so. And this one doesn't have bugs on it like the outdoor stuff. I noticed there was a lot of ladybugs in the greenhouse when I went in. So kind of felt really good about that. I don't know how they got in there, but they are looking really healthy. Very red. Almost like a neon red. They were so healthy. I don't know if you can judge how healthy a ladybug is by how red it is. But man, this sucker was just like as red as it gets. So really beautiful looking ladybug it always excites me to see ladybugs where i want them and we always normally have a really big gnat issue in the greenhouse because it gets so hot in there but this year i was looking at the the sticky pads that i have in there and i don't have barely any bugs on there so that's a really good sign especially as hot as humid as it's been here in reno this summer um, really excited to see that there aren't the same population of bugs that I normally see, so that's a good thing. Um, with lettuce, it's a cold weather plant, so you, when it starts getting hot, it may not grow as well. It's really hot here, and this greenhouse lettuce has done incredibly well. The outdoor lettuce is actually growing again. I cut it back. If you look at my in-ground vegetable gardening series episode one, you'll see that I cut it all way back. I ended up having enough lettuce to give my mom and my sister a good bag full. And um, so I, I really got a ton in. My mom said that there were bugs in it, but I asked her if she would rather have pesticides in it. And she said, yeah, you're right. And I guess, you know, when I lived in Hawaii, I lived there for a year and I worked at a restaurant and there was a girl at a restaurant that I worked at um, who did not like our lettuce because there were bugs in it and we served only organic lettuce at the restaurant I worked at and so we took it back of course um, customers always write in the restaurant industry for the most part so but I thought to myself man well I wonder why these bugs were in there and I was kind of young then wasn't into gardening like I am now and then I figured well you either get one or the other you either get bugs or you get pesticide and it's kind of like you get to take your pick on which you'd rather have I'd rather have bugs um, I do clean them really thoroughly uh, apparently my mom must just have gotten something at the bottom of her salad that just was kind of one that I didn't get out so um, this lettuce here from the aquaponics should taste really good I actually like I said I already tried it and it still has flavor in it. 
If you have the hydroponic based lettuce, normally you'll find that it's more flavorless only because hydroponics, um, if you're not familiar with hydroponics, would be similar to what I've got going with the fish, but there's no fish. So you just pump water through. Um, there's no soil in it, but you actually put all of the fertilizers in yourself. So you provide any nutrient that the plant's going to have. So normally you end up with kind of like a highly concentrated nutrient vegetable, but there's no soil. And I don't know, I think that with aquaponics, there's get a better variety of, of nutrients in it. So um, I don't really like hydroponics, like I said, again, I think it's for um, one operation and one operation only for the most part, or maybe tomatoes, um, but I don't really want to get too far into that discussion um, because this is hydro or aquaponics here. So um, if you are growing these in the ground, which this episode is in the series of the in-ground lettuce, um, you want to plant them in straight rows with the mound, and I just string them along a straight line and they grow from there. I do them normally really early in the season because they can survive a frost pretty well. So keep that in mind. So I think that's all I really got to say about lettuce. I, again, like lettuce and um, think it's easy to grow. So you should do it too if you're interested in gardening. So with that, I'm going to say mahalo for watching and I'll catch you on the flip side.